everybody, welcome. We are here today at the Cincinnati Premium Outlets. And you're like, why do you care about the Cincinnati Premium Outlets? It's because we heard that they have an awesome Disney outlet here. Um, and we're always wondering, where does all the Disney merch go and nobody buys it? Because um, it's like there's like stockpiling certain things down at Disney. Well, I think this is where they go. And we heard that they have super big discounts on a lot of the stuff that is actually in Disney right now. Things that they yeah. actually have in the stores right now for way less here. So we're gonna go check it out. Now we buy a lot of merchandise at Disney, a lot of merchandise. Disney, you should, you should, you should just start paying us to do videos because we buy all your stuff. Um, and so I'm kind of interested. Like we always buy stuff straight from Disney, though. Like we don't, we never go to outlets. No. We never get like anything from like off stores or anything, or even online. We usually just get it straight from the parks. And this is like an outlet. Like this isn't like the outlet store at Disney. Like outside of Disney in Florida and Orlando, this, we're in Cincinnati. So I'm, I don't even know what to expect. And you said, uh, so Wendy's the one that told us about this place. Yeah, and they have that the poo stuff, um, like kitchenware um, collection that they have at the actual Disney, World of Disney and the stores in the parks. They have it here for way, way cheaper, and it's full price um, at the parks. She bought some of it. So that is so crazy to me, so I came here to check it out. Yeah, exactly. Like she said, it's not just the stuff that is old that they weren't able to sell like it seems like they might actually have some stuff in here that they're currently still selling even the ears like she and i'm not gonna lie like sometimes they be they be, they had stuff at the disney store for a long time like i'm like they still have this like it's been here for like two years and the, uh, clearly it ain't selling so we're on the hunt for the disney store uh they have a lot of places here it's actually i mean by the way there's nobody here this place is a tomb right now. Um, now, it does close in a few minutes. And it is a weeknight, so maybe that's why. It's pretty late. Um, it closes at 7. So we better hurry up and find this place, or else we're not going to even get to take a look at it. So I see Calvin, Tommy, Kay, Gap. But man, there's literally nobody here. It's like, does, does anyone come here? Does it get crowded on the weekends, do you think? I have no idea. I don't know, but it's like, this is, I mean, <laughs> this is a great place to shop. And it's warm out, it's not because it's cold out right now. It's definitely warm. Oh, hey, look, they have a food court. I wonder what's in there. I wanna look. Ooh, they have a beef jerky outlet. I wanna go over there, we're going over there. What do they have in the food court? They have a Philly cheese stick, yum. Sabaro, yum. China experience. I mean, whatever. Chinese, I feel like they're all the same, but yum. Dippin' Dots and Subway, yum. And then a coffee place. Okay, this is actually not a bad food court to come to. I wonder if they have other stuff. You know they probably have an Annie Ann somewhere here. But I wanna go to the beef jerky shop. Beef jerky experience. Okay, we really have to hurry because if we're gonna go to beef jerky, then we gotta go to the Disney store all before it closes. We have like five minutes. Who else loves beef jerky? Yum, beef jerky experience. This reminds me of the beef jerky experience at John's Pass in St. Petersburg. I wonder if it's the same, but it says locally owned and operated, so I don't think it can be the same one. I don't remember what the name of that one is. Yes! Score! Beef jerky! Woohoo! Uh, we're gonna sink into this in a minute. We gotta run to the Disney store. Wow, we are already seeing tons of stuff that they are selling currently at Disney that is so much cheaper here. It is unbelievable. She just ran across a jacket that she has that she paid $50 for like a couple of weeks ago, and they have it here for $19.99. 
Well, now these look familiar, don't they? This is from the Peter Pan collection, Magic Kingdom collection. But it does say these are $34.99. So that's really not cheap at all. I mean, that's not a savings. These ones are $29.99. So these aren't these are definitely not on sale. So it looks like they have stuff that's on sale and same price. Um, they they definitely have this shirt. They have this in like the Disney Vault, and this is fifty nine ninety nine. I think that's about the same price as what it was at Disney. Um, so it looks like there's a lot of stuff in here that is same price as what you would find in the parks or online. But then they also have stuff that's like on sale and super cheap. Dude, I literally just bought these shorts. Not even kidding. And they're only $21.98 here. I think I paid like $40 or $50 for them. Wow, check this out. They have this Nabu crest headdress. Um, and they have this in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. It's only $29.99 here. I think it was like $50 or $60 in Galaxy's Edge. $29.99. That's a steal. Then they have all these little robot guys. They're only six bucks. Six bucks. Check out all these that they have. They got the Winnie the Pooh honey candle. They have the Snow globe. super cute Haunted Mansion they candle. Have. They've got the candy Special apple here, the poison you. apple. They got the stitch pineapple, little Mickey candle. They've got all these and they're only 20 bucks each. They were, I think they were like 30 maybe, maybe 35 at Disney. I don't remember, it's been a while since I looked at these. I can't remember how much they were, but they're much cheaper here. <laughs> Wow, now that was worth the trip. Yeah. For sure. They had so much stuff. So they had, definitely had stuff there that was regularly priced. Like the Halloween stuff, it, you know, they had a lot of the Halloween, like even the, like, the backpacks. Mm -hmm. Of the lounge fly backpacks, the Halloween stuff. They had like some of the Halloween merch. That was all pretty much regular price. Yeah. But then they had tons of other stuff that's still selling in the parks or has sold in the parks previously that was massively on sale. So you have to kind of pay attention when you're going through the store because if it doesn't look like it's marked down or it doesn't have like a red tag on it, it's probably full price. Some of the things show the original price and then they have the markdown price. Some of them only show the markdown price. So it's hard to even tell like, is that a deal or is that not a deal? Because it, it, I, I usually remember because I, I look in the, I'm always at the Disney stores. I know how much stuff costs. Yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, I know how much that is. I Disney. couldn't remember the candles. How much? Do you remember the little like poison apple candle and the like I, stitch candle? I couldn't the, remember if they were thirty or forty because I almost bought the stitch while I was yeah, in there. Yeah, because it was only twenty bucks. Yeah, I just couldn't remember. I knew it was cheaper. I couldn't remember if it was thirty. I was 30 thinking about getting it. Or thirty-five or forty. Yeah. But either way, they were all marked down. Um, they had so much stuff that was marked down that that purple <laughs> Tiana denim jacket, jacket or Tiana. whatever. Yeah. Hundred and twenty dollars is how much it was at Disney Style. You said. Mm -hmm. They have it a couple of other places, but I know I saw it. Just and how much time. was it? I already forgot. Thirty nine ninety five or thirty nine ninety eight or something. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like what? This is this is good stuff. This, yeah. I mean, there there is some stuff in there that's like, you see it in there and you're like, well, yeah, I, I kind of would assume that would have made it its way to here because we didn't know why they made it in the first place because mm -hmm. it's not the best. Yeah. Um, some of it's just personal style choices, yeah. and some of it's just like most people probably look at it and go, I don't know what they were thinking. But a lot of the stuff was quality in there. You just kind of have to be on the lookout. Um, All the shorts that are normally like thirty nine ninety nine or more um, at the in Disney are fourteen ninety eight here. Like all of them were fourteen ninety eight, and they had several different kinds. I actually bought my daughter a pair. Yeah, yeah. I, they I, had a lot of the princess stuff, the princess clothing that was in the Disney Style store. And actually, now to come to think of it, a lot of it was Disney Style stuff. There was a lot of Disney style think. stuff in there. Yeah, but those most candles and stuff it. were from Disney World of Disney. Yeah, but the clothes Magic that were Kingdom on sale, Emporium. most of them were from Disney style. Not all, but the majority of the women's clothes were from Disney mm. style. Um, yeah, and they had shirts for seven ninety eight. I almost bought one. I, I have so much, so I didn't mm. really buy myself anything. And the ears today were full price. They had two different kinds. Now Wendy was here, you know, recently, and she got some of the same ears. I pay thirty four ninety eight ninety nine for at Disney. She got them I think for like fifteen yeah. or ten or something. Like the same. But week today we they were them. full price. Um, so I don't know it if just, it probably just depends. Because there were some ears in there out. that were cheaper. Yeah. They did have some ears that yeah. were ten and twenty dollars in there. Um, like the Thor ears, the mm -hmm. mighty Thor ears were in there. I think they were like 
I don't remember, 10, 15, 20 bucks. Mm-hmm. They were cheaper than they are for sure. Yeah. So I think it just depends. They had that pink jacket that you just bought. That I love, actually. It's one of my favorite purchases. <laughs> you literally bought that like a month ago. Like it wasn't even. No, that I long. did. They still have them. Yeah. And I cannot remember if it was $49.95 or $59.95. I think it was $59.95, but I loved it. And I bought it because um, it's like a jacket. So yeah. I was like, oh, you and know. And it's like it's almost worth a crop toppy type jacket. Oh, yeah. Not really, but it's like. I love it. Super cute. It's so cute, and I get compliments on it every single yeah. time I wear it, even here in Ohio. It's so not like, really practical that? from a jacket standpoint. It's more like a, a style jacket. Well, it's a windbreaker. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's mildly. It's, it's like a windbreaker. thin material. Okay, well, it's very thin. It is thin. <laughs> um, but. And it was 1999. 1999. If you live in Cincinnati. Go get that jacket, and they had a bunch of different sizes. I mean, the bad thing is you're you're not going to get like the the choice of the choice of all the stuff when it first comes out. You're going to get whatever's left yeah. over. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing about the leftovers is a lot of it's the good stuff that just they had too much of or didn't sell um, for whatever reason. And it, it you don't really. I mean, there you may miss out. Like if there's that one piece that you were really looking for, mm-hmm. hey, you might miss out on it anyway. Even if you go to Disney, because they some of them sell out so fast. <laughs> but you might not get that. But yeah. Those, those brown shorts that I got, they had those brown shorts in there, the Mickey Mouse shorts. They had those in there and they were cheap. I just bought those not too long ago. So there was a ton, a ton of things that were super on sale. Now, we were talking to one of the cast members and she was saying this is a Disney outlet and they're hoping that they get transitioned to maybe a character warehouse soon. She's like, that would be really cool. That's this, She said that's the character warehouse is like the one down in Orlando mm-hmm. that you have to wait in line for like a couple of hours for. Yeah, you have to get in like a virtual queue. Um, so, you know, that that kind of stinks because this is just walk-in. <laughs> yeah. But So they're not quite at that level apparently yet, but it's pretty good. Um, and then she said they really get a lot of good stuff in here, especially like the backpacks. Yeah. And she said um, they get the Dooney and Burke purses and the Loungefly backpacks in here. And people are calling, like always calling to see when they're going to come in. And she said when that happens, when they get the shipment, there's like a ton of people in there just like at Disney. Um, because there's such a good deal. She said they have the, you know, the stoned ears they had recently. They were $500. It was like a hat with ears jewels. on it. The jeweled ears. Yeah. I couldn't think of that. $500? Yeah. She said they were 180 here, which is still a lot of money. But compared to $500, I mean, that's a steal. And plus, you get, um, if you have, I asked her, I said, I'm sure you don't, but do we get annual pass discount here? She said, no, but if you have a Disney Visa, you get 10% off, which we do. So I got yeah. 10% off um, Lexi shorts today yeah. off of fourteen ninety. On top of the discount, we yeah. still got the 10% off. Yeah. yeah. But I, I mean, I can't get over it. Like, those $500 ears, hat, I, I, I don't understand. Yeah. But some people want to pay $500 for that hat. <laughs> but you could get it for here for 180 bucks. She said they only got like 15 of them. That, or 10. She said they got 10 of them. They were all gone within yeah. 15 minutes. Yeah. But she said people are always calling here and being like, are you going to get, when's your shipment coming in? What are you getting? And then, so you can, apparently you can call the store. Yeah. Um, I don't know that you'll get through. And I don't <laughs> know if they actually know all the details of what they're getting, but they usually know yeah. when the shipments are coming. So you can check. Um, but yeah, she said, uh, now they did have some of the lounge fly backpacks in there, but they were full price, the mm-hmm. ones I saw. Um, but she said they do come in at a discount. It just depends on what they are. Because the ones I saw in there are the ones they have in Disney right now, too. So She said they're slowly but surely um, turning it their store, the store here, into a fully clearance store. So everything in there would be clearance and nothing would be full price. Oh, I didn't hear that. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's good. It is open, only open till 7, though, today. So I don't know if that's like every day it's open till seven. So that's not very late. So make yeah, sure basically you get here early we got here right before it closed. Yeah. And we had to kind of run around <laughs> in there and um, look at stuff really quickly and then basically get the boot because, <laughs> you know, they close at seven. Yeah. So that was a pretty cool experience. I think that's definitely worth going to. Now I kind of want to check out, see if there's any other ones around where we live. I know the character warehouse, which we never go to because it's way too crowded. We checked out the new Disney store over by Universal and that was a bust. Yeah. <laughs> bust um but i want to look for discount it's very cute and you can get your past stuff and everything taken care of yeah. so that's and actually good no no, if you don't feel no, like dealing no with all this line. stuff at disney yeah. springs and Just go there or the parks you can go there and it's really <laughs> much easier yeah. if you can find a parking spot but um there's not a lot of places to get discount disney merchandise in orlando no, yeah you can get fake disney merchandise <laughs> at a discount in orlando yeah. from like every you know, yeah. Bob, 
Tom and Harry stores, but real, authentic. I don't know. I was just coming up with three names. That's what came to me. But real, authentic Disney stuff. There's really not a lot of places to find discounts, so it's actually really nice to have this year. Looks like they have a Nike store right there. So they have a Nike outlet, a Banana Republic, Converse. What would you say you saw an Annie? Oh, here. Here's the Annie Ann's. I knew it. I knew they were going to have an Annie Ann's. They got to have the Annie Ann's. Yankee Candle. Pepper Palace. Now that looks like a place to go for hot sauce. It looks like they have a free sample bar, so I'm very tempted. But we don't have time. And they have salsas. Yum. Lots of different salsas in there. And hot sauces. Okay. Oh, and barbecue sauces. So Pepper Palace is all sorts of, they got tons of different hot sauces. They got barbecue sauces. And they have salsas? Okay, maybe I'll just take a quick look. Wow, the Pepper Palace was so cool. They had all kind of stuff in there. They had barbecue sauces, they had salsas in there, they had hot sauces, of course, hot sauces. They had pickled things, they had, I don't even know, they had, they had the hottest beef jerky on the planet, allegedly. Um, but the coolest thing that I thought was in there, they also had seasonings too, but was you can taste pretty much everything. They have like these tasting spoons that you can just dispense, like little plastic spoons. You dispense it, and then they have all, every, pretty much every hot sauce and everything they have in there. They have sampler ones where you can just like squirt some of it on like a spoon and taste them. So you can literally just go around the whole store and taste like all the hot sauces and even try all the chips and salsa for free. <laughs> like, what? Where have you seen that? I've never seen that before. Um, and I know, you know, with COVID, it's kind of like, what? But it's actually really, like, a smart system the way they do it and very clean. So, like, man, I'm, I'm kind of sick that we don't have more time because I kind of wanted to just go around the whole thing and try all the different sauces and stuff. So if, you're, if you're a hot sauce connoisseur, Pepper Palace, right here at the Cincinnati uh, Outlet Mall here, they have all kind of stuff you can try. You might be able to find the best hot sauce you've ever had in your entire life, and salsas, and barbecue sauces, and seasonings. They also had some pickled stuff, and like roasted garlic cloves. I don't know, that place is awesome. I am not even kidding you when I say there is another Annie Ann's. And by the way, we walked right past it when we came in. <laughs> so, so far there's two Annie Ann's. Well, we bought some shorts for our <laughs> daughter, and, um, then we had to go back. So we had to make a second trip back to Disney. Because Wendy was like, wait, I wanted those. They didn't have them in my size the other day. Go check. And they did. So I, have, I got them. <laughs> so now we have two, two pairs of those shorts. <laughs> okay, yes, we did in fact buy some beef jerky. Um, I don't know why I said it like that. But I said it like beef jerky. Uh, but we had to come back to it because we were rushing to get to the Disney store. So we got... Oh. I think I've had this one. Oh, yeah, we've had the garlic one for sure. Um, and by the way, it is the same place that is at John's Pass near St. Petersburg there um, in Florida. So if you've never been to John's Pass, it's awesome. We should go there and do an episode. I, I don't know how it's doing. Since yeah, we've, okay. we've been there a bazillion times. We've never done an episode there. We need to go back. We'll go there and we'll do an episode. We'll show you all about it. It's a really cool place. Hopefully it's okay. I think it's okay. I saw videos it's of it before okay. the hurricane, but not after. It's probably fine. But they have a beef jerky, they had, I don't know if it's still there, but they had a beef jerky experience there. Um, so we have tried the garlic. I know that. We've tried a couple of different ones, but I've never seen this dill pickle beef jerky here before. It's a little expensive. Um, so for like the larger pack of this, it's $22. And then these smaller packs are like 10 something. I think beef jerky is just expensive. But beef, beef jerky just in general is expensive. <laughs> Which makes, you know, somebody said one time, and I thought it was funny, it was like, you're taking a $20 steak, cutting it up into little bits, and then drying it out, and then selling it in a pack. So sure. that's AKA why, that, why beef jerky is so expensive, which makes sense. So, but I've never had dill pickle, and it sounds delicious, so we're going to rip into this right now. It has a strong odor. Oh, I can already smell. <laughs> it smells like straight pickles and yeah. soy sauce. So, um, we're just going to. I had to shut the video off for 20 minutes because that's how long it takes me to eat a piece of beef jerky. It is. She was done 10 minutes ago. 
I, it just took me a while. It really, by the way, I still smell that teal pickle. But I never really taste it. No, it smells stronger than action taste. I had high hopes because I thought it was going to be very dill. I can smell it. But flavor-wise, it just it tasted like a really good piece of beef jerky. Yeah. It's really good, but it, it's more of that like soy sauce flavor of the beef jerky, um, which I love. That's my preferred type, more than like the teriyaki. I'm not a huge fan of teriyaki flavor beef jerky. I like the really salty, almost like soy sauce flavor beef jerkies. And this is delicious. I just would have liked more pickle, more dill pickle flavor. So now I want to try the, um, give me a little tiny piece of the garlic because I want to compare now. 20 minutes has passed again. Huh. What did you think of the garlic? I like the garlic one better. But it's still not that strong of a garlic flavor. Don't you think? Yeah. I got, yeah, I just get like a small hint of yeah. garlic. It, it almost tasted a little bit sweeter to me maybe, but um, I tasted a little bit of garlic. And again, I just like the smallest hint of dill pickle on the dill pickle one. I kind of like the pickle one better. <laughs> I'm glad we got both bags. We were going to get one big thing of dill pickle, um, but I was like, wait a minute, they have smaller bags, so we just got two different kinds. I'm glad we did, because I like the pickle one better, she likes the garlic one better, so she'll eat the garlic one, and then she'll also eat the dill pickle one. <laughs> <laughs> but it is really, no, they're really good. I do like them. So, they have good beef jerky there. You can't go wrong. Anyone, they have all kind of hot, like super hot ones, like habanero, and they have like an orange orange teriyaki and they got so many different kinds um i i love their beef jerky it's amazing there so anyway well that was fun that was a nice little uh jaunt over here to the outlet i really liked it i would definitely would come back yeah uh, now i kind of want to i would like to keep coming back to see if they get new stuff at the disney store um and they got some pretty good places to grab some food there they got annie ann's this is a nice outlet and the fact that there's like hardly anybody here that's like a bonus. And by the way, I'm, yeah, I think we I'm pretty sure that we walked out the wrong place. So our car's not over here. Let's keep walking. So anyhow, <laughs> um, I thought it was awesome. It was a blast. Yeah. So thanks again for joining us in the sunlight there. Uh, we will see you again next time. Until then, the noble way. It's the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.